hey, look at that. I got company here in the studio with me today. And I'm really pleased. I hope you get to hear a lot more about this young lady. Uh, she's running for governor. She is uh, the only woman running uh, on the Republican write-in ticket. you got to ask for a write-in ticket. Her name is Renee Turner, you know, like Turner TV, the movie channel. By the way, she's been on there with the host a couple of times, right? Yes, I have actually walked red carpet for Turner. Turner, as in Ted Turner, as in Turner TV. Okay, Renee, I'm trying to help them anchor your, your words so they know who to ask for. We'll do a whole special on how to do a write-in for Renee on the marijuana platform. I'd like to call you a little bit on this because I kind of look at you as a mom that got fed up with the runaround on Ohio medical laws, and uh, you've got three boys, two are... Autistic. Autistic. Yes. All right, so this mom's got skin in the game in many, many ways, and uh, she's a business owner. I don't want to shadow it at all. I think you're a bar owner, uh, a popular place over in Springfield, Ohio, if I'm correct. Yes. Springfield. Uh, it's part of the heart of Ohio. And uh, as an entrepreneur, a business owner, a woman, uh, I think there's some sexism going on here, boys and girls, major sexism. we got three female candidates, and they're not allowed to be in the debate. These boys, the good old boys, the Kasich crew, uh, Mike DeWine, and even Richard Cordray, they're both institutional politicians, and they've arranged with the media not to let these other people's voices be heard. But the strange thing is all these people that they're trying to shut out, close down their voice, are women. And Renee, you're a Shawnee Indian Tecumseh relative and a minority. So we got three women, and they're not being given any face time. They're not allowed to be on the debates, whether they're the Independent, the Green Party. It's only the Republicans and the Democrats that are allowed to have this airtime. And I think that's shameful. It talks about sexist. It makes Ohio look pathetic. But I found your little story about uh, your hometown. Mike's from Mike DeWine, running for governor, is from Springfield. Yes, he is. And right now we have the highest crime rate and the highest opioid addiction problem in the whole state of Ohio. The saddest city in the nation. The saddest town in the nation. Why? Uh, we used to be very good at um, our manufacturing and we were rated number one way back for number one in the manufacturing community in the nation. You're, you're, you're actually though Springfield is, was voted or uh, nominated or appointed or something as the saddest place in the nation. They were voted in 2012. Uh, by and then the Missouri. Opiate Death Center of Ohio. Yes. That is a sad place. Thank you Mike. And the highest rate of crime right now. You know, under Mike's reign as, as Attorney General, we've just let opiates go wild in Ohio. As a minister, I think it's pathetic. I've watched these children dying, over 4,000 of them on our streets every year. And I think it's horrible that we are being treated like Ohio as the armpit of the world for this subject. We have the highest death rate in the United States. That's embarrassing to me, not just as a minister, but as a resident of this state. But hometown, how's, how's the hometown situation? You've got a bad opiate problem. We, we do, and that was... Mike hasn't done anything for you? No. Nothing? Nothing. So he didn't care about his hometown. Apparently he didn't not. care about the problem, really. He hasn't done anything to stem it. Under his reign, it's done nothing but increase. We know with just the legalization, full legalization of cannabis, uh, everybody could self-medicate. Uh, death rates would drop. The 4,000 opiate death rates would drop probably 80%. Mike, you can't figure this out? Shame on you. Well, that's Ohio, but you're, you're running for governor. You're an intelligent, articulate woman, and there's two other women running, and the three of you are being blocked out by media and by the big two-party system, aren't you? Yes, we are. That's sexism, if I ever heard of it. It's wrong. They should be allowed into the debate. This is absolutely something everybody needs to address. This is Sir Alan Mooney telling you that justice needs to be served. Yep. God bless. We're out of here.